All right. So uh, as we know, like in our last video, we have um, got our SSL signed in from uh, certificate provider like uh, uh, Let's Encrypt. But in this video, what I wanted to take you through is uh, uh, how to get it signed from certificate providers like GoDaddy, how to get the certificate CSR signed uh, from GoDaddy and upload it in uh, the, you know, uh, audio codes. So I'll come here and log into IP network as I, uh, as I wanted to show you, like the certificate is still assigned by the Let's Encrypt, uh, root, Let's Encrypt. So I'm going to sign it uh, via GoDaddy. I'll come here in the IP network, click on uh, TLS context here. And then here, I, what I'll do is I'll change the certificate from here. So what uh, I'm going to do is first, I'm going to generate a cell sign certificate and click on yes. And then it is going to prompt me some information like to complete the certificate replacement process, close the current uh, browser session and open up a new session, click on okay. And then save this and click on yes. So as I says, as soon as I do that, right, uh, you see like it is started prompting me an error uh, with the, you know, uh, let's in uh, with the, padlock padlock error so it says not secure so if i click on here like it it is not allowing me to log in so let's try with an ip address and see if this allows so i'll click on enter the url 181 sorry i think i need to enter as https Once, click on proceed to login, enter the credential. Okay, so right now, if you see here, uh, because of the SSL not signed in properly, we have not installed the proper certificates, it is giving me an, giving us an error like where the IP group sees it's not reachable or it's disconnected. So let's come back to the IP network, come to the security. TLS context. Now, what we are going to do is uh, let's validate what is the certificate information. So, as you see, right, it is a self signed certificate. It says like not valid before 13th March this time and not valid after this time, 10th March. And it is a self signed certificate, certificate again. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here, click on change certificate. Okay, click on this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, enter the common name. So let's use the common name as the host name of the audio codes. Okay, sbc.collaborative.online and organization unit, let it be, I'll give it as IE. Company name, I'll give, give it as CG. Locality, BLR, state is KA, country code is IN. And then here it is asking for the domain name information. So I'll uh, or SAN name, sorry. It is asking for the SAN name. So either I can use email or I can use DNS. So I'll use collabguru.online. And then I will skip all this information as default and click on create CSR. So as soon as I create CSR, it is given me uh, a CSR here. So I need to copy this and then log into GoDaddy. Let me log into GoDaddy. Sorry, goodid.com. And then I need to uh, go to the SSL certificate. So let me pause this video and go to the SSL certificates there directly. Okay, so I'm into the SSL page right now. If you see like uh, this particular certificate is for sbc.collabguru.com online and uh, I have uh, selected like standard SSL certificate that's what I have purchased uh, from GoDaddy and I have used some of the certificates uh, in the previously to do some testing right so there is a state uh, that is a reason it is saying a, st a certificate issued otherwise you can uh, you know come when you're purchasing a certificate for the first time right it will not give you this many information it'll ask you uh, to you know put the uh, CSR information and whatnot and then you can sign the certificate but at this moment as you see right I have used this uh, good ready certificate uh, previously for our lab purposes so it is giving me like a certificate issued and if I want to revoke the certificate I can do that so it is saying like for which domain uh, I have issued the certificate for and the issuer was like GoDaddy and requested date. So this was the date when I requested for uh, the certificate last time. 
so 23 february and request submission type so i rekey the certificate so rekey means like uh, i use one certificate and then uh, i regenerated my csr and then again using the new csr i regenerated the certificate so that means it has rekey the certificate so it is valid from this period to this period and this is the serial number so if i have to show you the history right so if you come here in the certificate history so you see i have so initially for the first time when i uh, you know um reached a, a new request so this was the new request when uh, i uh, raised it for the first time so maybe after that revoked and certificate was reissued or rekey was a request so february 22 february 2 is when i re, uh, I, i mean i purchased the certificate i believe and then i rekey the certificate on february 22 and rekey it again on february 23 okay and right now if you see like uh, these are it is asking me if you want to download the certificate so this particular field is like if i want to download the existing certificate which i issued for the last mm -hmm. time if i want to use it but as we have generated a new csr i don't want to download this certificate but instead i want to generate a new certificate okay so it is asking me uh, in the manage certificate it is asking me for few option rekey your certificate change the site that you want the certificate uh, you want uh, change the site that your certificate products change the issuer listed in your certificate i'm going to use this option rekey your certificate so right now it is asking me like uh, paste the csr here so that it will uh, try to you know generate the certificate for you so i have pasted the csr which i've copied it from on the audio codes and pasted it here so i'll click on add change so it says rekey your certificate if you lost your private key or moved your certificate to a website to a new server you can generate a csr uh, from your server by using the server software you your csr contains a public key that matches the private key generated at the same time so i'll click on add change so as soon as i add change it says it has become uh, the, st the status has changed to ready so what i'm going to do is i'm going to submit the changes so i want to rekey the certificate so after rekeying the certificate i want to submit all changes so as soon as i submit the um, changes right um, so it will take couple of minutes for uh, certificates to be reissued so at this moment if you see here if i come down it says a status pending verification okay and then a request uh, requested date for the certificate was 13th of march so and so time and requested submission type is rekey and current status uh, sorry current certificate validity period pending subscription period is this and serial number is pending so let me try to uh, refresh this page and see what happens okay certificate request pending reissuance so it is still pending at this moment so if you see here um uh in the certificate history right so this is the latest uh, history it is talking about so it starts from the bottom to top so this was the certificate when i uh, created the certificate again rekey the certificate rekey the certificate and again rekey the certificate today so it says certificate issues so let's do one thing so as you see here um, after uh, refreshing this page it says like okay so the certificate requested date was 13 uh, 3 2022 and it is valid from 13 3 2022 till this date and subscription period is this and it has got the serial number so it is able to uh, you know uh, issue me a new certificate so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, click on uh, download zip file here and save this file in my uh, folder let's me let me do that so i'll name this folder as good eddy okay and then and i'll save this file in my uh, system and then once the file is downloaded successfully i'll right click and show in folder and then extract this file so extract so the file has been extracted in this particular folder so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, log in back to the audio codes and then comes on uh, come to the tlx context here 
and then change certificate and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the device certificate file from here so select this file as soon as I select this file it says file loaded successfully certificate was replaced I'll click on close then it is asking me to save I'll click on save configuration will be saved you wish to continue oh by that time the page was refreshed so I'll click on uh, proceed again okay I'll click on save click on yes so as soon as I'm done with this uh, let's try accessing this web page from the host name so as soon as you see like if I'm trying with the FQDN of this audio goods website it is giving me a padlock error and let's validate if this certificate is signed by GoDaddy or not certificate is valid so as you see SBC Collab Guru Online certificate is signed by GoDaddy. It was signed on 13th March and it is valid till 2nd of February. So let's log in. So if you see here, uh, the team's uh, groups, uh, the team group is up right now. Now just make sure like all the relevant certificates are installed. So come to the TLS context, trusted with certificate. And I see here like uh, the Baltimore root certificate, the Baltimore certificate is there already. So uh, let's also validate this in the direct routing if there is an issue. So right now it is showing an issue or uh, SIP option warning because um, maybe by the time when we were trying the certificate, uh, this has not been uh, synced up properly. So now if you give, give it some time, it should be synced up and it should not give us this error. So let's do one thing. Let's try placing a call and see what happens. Click on retry. So you see, the call has come to the so call, IP call. IP phone. I'll end this call. I'll do a redial to 10004 and let's see what happens. Okay quiet mode is enabled and that's the reason I don't see the call here just let me disable the quiet mode let's try placing the call again you see the call is coming here I answer the, answer the call the call is successfully answered so uh, so uh, by this like uh, I wanted to show you like uh, this is how the you know uh, that you install the good edit certificate so if you go to monitor and you will be also able to see the status to be online for the servers okay and what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to install the root certificate here so let me go back to the TLS context trusted root certificate and import the root certificate which we have downloaded okay let me make it all files <clears throat> okay so all the uh, root certificates etc are successfully installed in this particular um, server right now so let's give it a refresh again so as you see the site is still uh, opening up with the padlock icon. So this is how we validate. The certificate is signed by GoDaddy. Okay, let's see once more time or maybe it'll take some time to sync to happen. So if I come to direct routing, ideally this uh, lock should go away in some time. This particular uh, warning message should go away in some time. Uh, so it may take uh, some uh, like five, 10 minutes, I believe for this uh, icon to go away however like we have tested everything is working fine so i hope uh, you like this video and this is informative for you thank you for watching